Hey guys, my name is Jason Tweedle, also known as King Bombs, and today, this is very odd for the people who watch me regularly, I'm going to be talking about Duke Ellington and his part in the Harlem Renaissance for my English 2 class. Ellington was born on August 29th, 1899 in Washington, D.C. Ellington is one of the many major figures of jazz music. In his lifelong career, he has composed thousands of songs for the stage, screen, and contemporary songbook. The music that Ellington made represents pride for the Harlem Renaissance. He believed that representing African American culture in a positive way was the best way to fight racism. Some of the music he made was It Don't Mean a Thing, In a Sentimental Mood, And also, Echoes of Harlem. In the 1920s, Ellington performed in Broadway nightclubs as the band leader of a sextet, a group which in time grew to a 10-piece ensemble. Ellington sought out musicians with unique playing skills, such as Barbara Miley, who used a plunger to make the wah-wah sound, and Joe Nanton, who gave the world his trombone growl at various times. His ensemble included the trumpeter Cootie Williams, cornetist Rex Stewart, and alto saxophonist Johnny Hodges. Ellington made hundreds of recordings with his bands, appeared in films and on radio, and toured Europe on two occasions in the 1930s. Ellington's fame rose to the rafters in the 1940s when he composed several masterworks including Concerto for Cootie, Cottontail, and Coco. Some of his most popular songs included It Don't Mean a Thing If It Ain't Got That Swing, Sophisticated Lady, Prelude to a Kiss, Solitude, It was Ellington's sense of musical drama that made him stand out. His blend of melodies, rhythms, and subtle sonic movements gave audiences a new experience, complex yet accessible jabs that made the heart swing. Ellington's autobiography, Music Is My Mistress, was published in 1973. Ellington earned 12 Grammy Awards from 1959 to 2000, nine while he was still alive. As a requirement for this project, I am supposed to answer this one question. How does my person and his or her work symbolize the Harlem Renaissance? I have wrote a paragraph explaining why Duke Ellington's music is, is a symbolization of the Harlem Renaissance. Here it is. 
Duke Ellington and his music represented pride in the Harlem Renaissance. The music shows African American pride by making it sound rather positive. The positive sound shows that African Americans embraced their heritage even when there was segregation. Ellington said his music was his life and that he would be remembered by his music. Ellington's music is still known to this day and has had a major impact in the Harlem Renaissance. And that pretty much wraps up everything about I've, I had to do for this project. Uh, you learned many things about Duke Ellington. He made multiple types of music. He's gotten multiple Grammys, dead and alive. And he's embraced a lot of the Harlem Renaissance. He was one of the top musicians of the Harlem Renaissance. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope I get a good grade on this for my teacher and all my classmates watching this at this moment. Um... This is just for the viewers and anyone who likes Black History Month. I know I'm a bit late with this, but you know what? Who cares? Uh, remember, rate, comment, subscribe, leave a like at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. hope you guys like learning about Duke Ellington. Leave a, a like, something, comment, something like that. You know, who cares? Other than that, uh, I'm going to end off with one of Duke Ellington's songs. Uh, if you ain't got no swing, that will be the song playing in the outro. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Bye! Don't mean a thing if you ain't got that swing. It don't mean a thing. All you gotta do is swing. Makes no difference if it's sweet or hot. Just give that rhythm every little thing you've got.